Hello man of word, we truly appreciate that you joined us. We are glad that we can support you in your further development. Today's topic is about how to become a better listener. So, let's begin. Welcome to amanoford.com, the most refreshing network in the business world. Why should you pay close attention to this? 1. You will learn how listening skills improve your life. 2. You will learn how to become a better listener. And 3. You will find the qualities of a great listener. Good listening abilities are important for developing your business relationships, but plenty of people spend more time talking than listening. Most people think of themselves as good listeners, finding it hard to accept otherwise. We know listening is vital to building strong relationships with coworkers, managers, clients, and leadership. It is supposed to be the single most important communication skill required, valued more highly than speaking, in the business world. We spend between 70 to 80% of every day involved in communication, with over half the time devoted to listening, and yet we struggle to do it effectively. Because we hear speech at a rate of 500 to 1000 words per minute, and only speak 125 to 175 words per minute, we become easily bored, distracted, and inattentive. The main topics of our video are 6 tips to become a better listener and 5 qualities of a good listener. Let's start with the 6 tips to become a better listener. 1. Set and lead by example. Practicing what you talk inspires others to do the same things. If you tell your employees to communicate more but you do not follow your advice, you end up doing more harm and creating resentment. Employees will begin to think why should I do that when my manager doesn't. People tend to get defensive when you tell them how to behave and you aren't doing the same yourself. To foster an open and transparent culture, you should establish effective communication with every member of the team. A great idea is to have your work calendar set to open, in order to promote transparency, and also to enable anyone to find an appropriate time to have a chat. 2. Reflect. Encouraging reflection, and allowing the opportunity for employees to give their feedback is very important to the growth and progression of the organization. After meetings, introducing a Monty enables employees to ask anonymous questions without the pressure of thinking they may be judged. It also allows managers to continuously improve by listening to employees' ideas and adapt to become better, resolve problems, and avoid any potential issues. 3. Give them time. Be mindful, try not to hurry your employees, and don't forget to pause. Not all things need an answer right away or a response. Sometimes just being non-judgmental for others can help them overcome some problems whether it is inside the business or outside. Try to block out disturbances such as background noises, phones, or having your laptop open and receiving emails, it will make employees think you are not focusing. Finally, you need your employees to feel like you care about them and that they can communicate with you. Fidgeting and looking at the clock will make them feel rushed, clam up and more than likely not to give their opinion or thoughts. 4. Ask questions. Asking questions shows you're curious and are engaging with the conversation and what they are saying. It also provides clarification and helps to avoid any misunderstandings that could crop up in the discussion. Be careful not to jump in and interrupt someone by asking a question. Your questions should also be asked at a proper moment, as questions can sometimes take a conversation off in a different direction and the employee won't be able to go back and finish what they were saying. 5. Paraphrase and Summarize Use active listening abilities to make the message clear and make sure that you are both on the same page. Rewording can be used to demonstrate and back up that you have been paying attention to what they have been speaking and reduce any possible confusion. Summing up what has been said is a great method to bring up the main points discussed and to highlight the key action points to move forward with. 6. Body Language Eye contact, gestures, and posture are all essential to make your employee feel content and show that you are actively listening to them. Eye contact is a natural part of engaging in a conversation but blending it with smiles and gestures such as nodding can put the person at comfort and reassure them. Posture can also be a significant sign of how a piece of information is being perceived. If you sit there resting your head in your hands, most likely they will take it that you're bored. The same goes for mirroring a person's actions, which helps to show understanding and empathy in more sensitive situations. To be the best manager, you have to put in the effort each day to strengthen good communication with your team. It is a day-to-day -day learning process to practice and improves your good communication and that often starts with listening skills. Listening is crucial for both you as the manager and for the organization to be the most productive and effective as possible. In the long term, the company will reap the rewards of good listening and it will help you to build a strong connection and forge good relationships with your team. Now let's see 5 qualities of a great listener. 1. Complete presence. Being present means that you're involved in the actual moment. 
rather than focusing on the past or trying to predict what they'll say next, you're processing the information as it's told to you. You avoid all disturbances, including your phone and other people. This means you maintain good eye contact to highlight and prove your focus. 2. They don't listen to respond. If you're constantly thinking about how you're supposed to react to what the speaker is saying, you're not being a good listener. Good listeners don't focus on what they're going to contribute to the conversation next. Instead, they listen to the process and understand. If you're having trouble with this, try pretending you aren't able to react or respond to the speaker. What would you do if you wanted to remember and understand the conversation without verbally engaging with it? You'd be listening to comprehend and not respond. 3. They react at the moment. Like not listening to respond, good listeners use their focus in the present to react on the go. While the planners amongst us might be made uneasy by this quality, these moment-to-moment -moment responses will be great if they're made with comprehension. If you're present, you'll be able to focus and react with your instinct, not with a critical mind. Your frank responses will produce a natural environment where you're more likely to cultivate better relationships with the speaker. 4. They don't have an agenda. Good listeners go into conversations without any expectations. They're not attached to a certain outcome, so they're not going to steer the conversation any way purposefully. Rather, they let the speaker guide the interaction and respond based on how they feel in the current moment. They don't have a higher initiative, but rather let the conversation flow where it needs to go. 5. They don't jump to give advice. While good listeners shouldn't stray from helping someone in need or giving their input, they don't think their goal is to fix whatever the speaker needs. Sometimes, the best way to work through a problem is to talk through it, and that might mean no responses from a listener at all. Good listeners know when to offer their assistance and don't rush to add in their thoughts and risk taking attention away from the speaker. Before the video ends let's find out which are the best things to remember from this. 1. Listening skills are very important in your life. 2. Sometimes a person only needs to be listened not advised. And 3. Your employees can express their ideas easier if you let them talk. Well, this ends here, let us know in the comments what is your opinion about emotions. Thank you for watching until the end and if you found this helpful don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell button to be notified for every new learning opportunity. And always remember man of word, be aware of the person that you can become.